Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doc. Welcome along to round nine of my season one career mode in Formula One 2017. We are at Austria and we start the weekend off with a gearbox upgrade. I decided to spend some of my resource points on the gearbox because it's the one element in the car that seems to sort of wear even more than the engine. Probably about the same as the engine really. So I decided to invest some points in this to hopefully improve that. But now we move on to the actual practice session and the track climatization didn't go well for me actually. Um, I only got managed to get 135 on my opening three laps and um, I decided then to go on to the race pace um, strategy. The weather was looking very, very gloomy, uh, but as you can see, I got slow pace in all of my laps around here. So I was just kind of like trying to put some laps in and get used to the car, but um, here made a big mistake, went too wide and we was into the barrier. Luckily though, I managed to save it and um, we ended up with no terminal damage this time around. So yeah. And the guys in the garage were very thankful for that. But you see, I've got a very worn engine in this practice session. It's probably why I'm not hitting the targets. But here, I got it massively wrong. Um, went out massively wide there. And um, yeah, really struggling around Austria for a start for the, in the opening practice sessions. Don't really know why. I was trying my hardest. But um, yeah, it just, just really wasn't happening for us for some reason. But um, we soldiered on regardless until this happened. And we were straight into the barrier, and that was the terminal damage that we hadn't got up to this point. But, um, yeah, as you'll see on the replay, maybe I just got went out too wide, and, yeah, we just totally gone off the radar. Into the next session, P2, and we went back to track climatization. This time around, we got on a lot better at 230, 2.30 we scored there in the track climatization. So, yeah, I felt like I was just slowly starting to get used to the track again. And then um, midway through the second lap, we kind of got it all wrong, and we lost the front wing again. So, um, went back in, but we didn't do track consultation again, guys. We actually went out and we did some laps, and um, again, we was on slow pace. So, so not good on the, the race pace test um, in this one, unfortunately. And then we move on to this one here, tire wear. We was following Hamilton, but again, we were like nowhere to be seen, and then we do the, exactly the same thing again and end into the barrier. Fuel saving, we managed to get a purple, did we? No, it was only a green in the fuel saving. So, yeah, fuel saving tire wear, two tests that I normally do pretty well at today, but we have really, really struggled on this time around. Back to qualifying pace now, and we did hit 11th, and we were going for uh, an even faster time, um, but unfortunately we didn't. So our estimated pace position was 15th, um, but result was 11th. So it wasn't too bad. Anyway, at the end, we finished ninth in P3 with a lot of setup tweaks and changes. But um, yeah, after the weekend we had, I was pretty happy just to get you know a decent time on the board and be ahead of both my teammate and my main rival, Nico Hulkenberg, in the timesheets for Friday. So on to quali and um, straight out on the ultra soft tyres. We kind of just set out to just go as fast as we could, as early as we can. And we actually took the fastest lap in the early sessions with a 110.112. And uh, Lance Stroll, I don't know, he kind of got him away a little bit, so it stopped me from doing a second run. Um, this is Q2. So we breezed through Q1 with that time. And Q2 wasn't too good. We ended it in the barrier straight away. So um, we lost that lap. And then we came around for another lap. And we crossed the line with a quicker time of a 109.87, which actually sat us in between Hamilton and Ricardo at that point. And I felt that was enough. So this is on to Q3. So, um, yeah, our demons from the previous couple of races have well and truly gone. But um, doing okay at this point. Could have been a bit tidier out of the first corner as we head down to uh, turn three here. Breaking point is very crucial here. But, um, yeah, we're doing okay. As long as the car in front of us doesn't get in our way, we have got um, plenty of fuel so we can go for another run if needed. But this was my strongest sector of the racetrack, the second sector. I felt like I was doing a really, really good round here. Went a little bit wide, but um, not too well. I felt like I could gain a lot of time here on the AI around this part of the track. So, um, yeah, we're still good. Everything is still good at this point as we follow Valtteri Bottas, I think, is in front of us. Uh, we're at 48.6 for the middle sector and uh, the clouds are actually rolling in at this point as well it was getting very dark and gloomy around the track so it could indicate a bit of rain as Rockin goes fastest as we come around the final corner here behind Bottas what's it going to be a 109.674 to put a 
provisional second place on the grid. So that was good. And then we just totally messed it up. And um, it didn't hit the barrier, but I decided to go in. But the heavens did open. And nobody actually, apart from Lewis Hamilton, nobody actually got out on the track and improved on time. So we actually finished the session on row two with a career best third position with that time. Um, teammate there down in ninth, but it's going to be a very, very interesting race. So let's go and take a look at the grid with David Croft. Ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Kimi Raikkonen starts today from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have a Haas, Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, and Verstappen, Ricardo, Perez, Grosjean, and Felipe Massa, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Carlos Sainz, and Stroll, Kvyat, Palmer, Fernando Alonso, and Stoffel van Dorn, Ericsson, and Pascal Wehrlein completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, you've qualified higher than we expected, so let's try to build on this position throughout the race. So we're in a very, very strong position then for this Austrian Grand Prix as we start from the second row of the grid alongside Sebastian Vettel. A little bit of wheel spin here on the formation lap, but um, yeah, all eyes, all, all thoughts at the minute, sorry, are on a good start here, um, trying to maintain the position or even, you know, if we can head into turn one from um, the start then uh, and we, we can make up a place, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, we're going to line up the grid here, ready for the five lights to come on and go out and then we can go racing. So here we go with the Austrian Grand Prix and we're racing. And we get off the line. Pretty good start. It seems like we're we're ahead of Vettel. We're not making any grounds, though, on Raikkonen and Hamilton as Vettel actually takes the inside. We're very, very slow and tentative through that first corner. But um, we're away at the minute. We're in fourth position. We've lost a place, but we're still, in a good, we're still doing well. Uh, we're keeping the red ball behind us at the moment, this moment in time. So um, everyone's got away cleanly by the looks of it as we enter turn three and head down the second sort of drag racy part of this circuit. And we actually look like we're building a bit of a gap here against the Red Bulls. We go a little bit wide into that corner and that allows the Red Bull to catch us up again and we've lost ground on the uh, the, the three leaders there. But um, on board here with Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, yeah, well, he's, he's, he's gaining on us, but um, you know we're, we're doing everything we can to try and pick up the pace and try and you know make our way back towards Vettel um, in the hope we can maybe catch and pass. I, mean, I think it's going to be a tall order, to be honest, to try and pass Vettel. Um, he's got the faster Ferrari power unit in his car, but um, hey, we can dream, right? There's nothing wrong with dreaming at all. So, all safely through the first lap, even though we've got a Red Bull breathing down our neck, but um, let's press on now to lap five. And I think it's actually going to be our pit stop, perhaps. Uh, yes, it is. We dive into the pit. So nothing really happened for those first five laps. We just kind of hold station. Um, didn't really have too much to defend against against the Red Bull. But this is make or break. We're massively early breaking there for the um, the pit lane marker. So that's not going to help us in this battle whatsoever. But um, let's take a look at the pit stop here. On to the super softs. And a nice swift stop there from the Haas team. Very good indeed. Now, can we get ahead of some of these other cars? And it looks like we're going to actually come out right in front of this squabble of five cars here. So this could be a very interesting exit indeed. Let's try and make as many places to come. We're alongside three abreast. Alongside Carlos Sainz. I think there's actually a... Sorry, Kivia. And there's a bit of contact there. Um, it seems to drive into us. But we're going to try and dive down the inside here. And... Yeah, now we're only behind one as the Sauber actually comes back at us a little bit, but I think that's opened um, the door for Kvyat to get past Ericsson. So, um, yeah, Ericsson lost the place. But let's take a look at that again. I don't really know. I, I think I was driving straight. I think he just kind of dr drifted into me a little bit, but no nothing too major. Nothing too major at all. We're all still damage-free, and we're going to keep racing here. Um, but at least we got ahead of the majority of those cars squabbling away, so they're not going to slow us down much. So we can concentrate now and um, hopefully make up some places. We're all the back over their, their line here. Sorry, I couldn't speak there. Uh, we're on lap six here, and um, we should just do a nice easy move on the inside 
dive down the inside and um, we have taken the place back and now we can make inroads on the Williams up ahead to hopefully claw back a few more points oppositions even So lap seven, and we are on the back of Van Dorm here. Stroll has just got past Van Dorm, so um, yeah, I think we're going to um, all over the back of them here. So we're going to try and gear up for another move down the inside, perhaps here into the penultimate corner. But yeah, we were so so close behind Van Dorm, and um, as you see, kind of quite easy move. I, I actually like that overtaking spot right there. I I've, over the weekend, uh, even in practice and quality, I managed to. Um, get some overtakes done there. So um, yeah, another place and I believe some more people may have just pitted as well So um, that's a few more places where we're working our way back towards the points um, As we drag race Lance Stroll down here. We've got a Ferrari ahead of us um, Don't know if that's Vettel or Raikkonen, but as we take on Lance Stroll dive it down the inside Push him out slightly wide offline and get a good exit. And we have gained yet another place into the DRS zone. Now onto lap eight. We are up to P9. And there are cars in the pits. We are now up to P7. Hopefully P6 if we can get ahead of Verstappen. We did. We did. P6. So we're back on the back of Vessel. And as you see, we've compared to what we were at the beginning um, uh, when we were chasing him originally, we are right on the tail of him here. We have a, a good chance to uh, make some inroads on him. If I hadn't put the power down too early. Managed to keep it out the barrier though, which is the main thing. Um, but we have now lost the place to Verstappen. And I think that's a Mercedes just gone past us as well. But um, yeah, we've got Van Dorm and Stroll here squabbling over the positions again as we go three abreast down here. And I'm actually relatively slow and decide to um, just, you know what, play it cautious. I'll duck back to the outside, try and get cut back on the inside. But um, yeah, I just held back too much because two, those two were squabbling like crazy. So... Um, it went from all glory to horribly, horribly wrong as we're now down in ninth place, back all, all over the back of Van Dorm again. But um, we're coming up to our favourite overtaking section of the track here, so hopefully we can get a good exit. And um, we do actually take it down the inside, but Lance Stroll heads to the pits, um, which kind of compromised me a little bit, so I have to come out a little bit wider. Me and Van Dorm actually make contact, and then he holds the red bull up. And I don't know, I, I've tried to analyse this after the race, um, as you'll see here. I don't know, Van Dorm could have seen me come in, but I think maybe I came from too far back. So I think I'm going to take responsibility for that incident. Um, I couldn't actually tell if I was alongside him or not enough when he started turning in. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to hold my hand up and probably say I caused that. There's yellow flags up here as we get it massively wrong there. And um, and it was actually Kimi Raikkonen that had pulled over of the track. And um, that was great news for us because that means we were promoted into a P5. So only a two-place loss. But um, a couple of laps later, um, coming around to lap 16. And you'll notice that it is getting very, very overcast, guys, out there. And um, we actually started to get some spits and spots of rain, which was making um, handling at certain points of the track pretty, pretty hard. And as you'll see here, we just got it totally wrong. Too much power on the exit. And we was... Um, uh, we kind of spun, kept it out of the barrier, but unfortunately I let Ricardo go past us and take sixth place. And we actually then had our teammate all over the back of us as we headed down into um, turn three here. So um, it was going to be an interesting battle. Not only were we like trying to keep our teammate behind us, but we're also conscious that the, um, the rain is um, coming and making handling harder. But yeah, um, very, very tricky these last couple of laps indeed. Luckily, we was able to put a bit of power down in the second sector there and put a bit of distance between ourselves and Groshman. Groshman has got a couple of cars behind him, so if we make a big mistake here, then it doesn't just mean we'll lose one place. We could potentially be on the edge of or even out of the points, but I um, uh, built quite a comfortable gap. We had yellow flags again in the third sector. I'm not sure what that was for, but um, yeah, I am trying to stay with Ricardo as well. We have got a, bit of, a little bit of rich fuel to play with. Um, the final sector of the track didn't seem too bad, um, as well as a car going in the pits. Not sure who that is as we lap them. But um, yeah, as you see, we've got a few more spots now on the screen. The rain is continuing as we come around to the final corner to start our final lap. And um, we've got enough of a gap between us and Grosjean. I have been keeping a bit of rich, a bit of fuel left over so that we can, you know, use it to um, defend if need be. 
But um, yeah, we went massively wide. I, I was really, really gentle on the throttle there. It does mean that Grosjean did catch up with me. I didn't want to put any power down when I was off the tracks and just knew that I would end up spinning and, and lose all them positions. But yeah, if Grosjean is right on me here, is he going to make a dive down the inside? No, he is not. We kind of move a little bit to the inside to be a little bit defensive. But um, yeah, he's got a good three or four cars behind him. So um, one, one wrong move here and, and that's it for us. Um, but yeah, the, the rain is really starting to come down now. So we're actually going to slow the pace down and, and be very, very gingy. We back end steps out a little bit there as we shift down to third gear. It's probably a mistake on my point, trying to get the car slowed down. But um, Lewis Hamilton has just won the race. Congratulations to Lewis. As we come round to end the second sector, we're still ahead of Grosjean here as we go on board with Grosjean. And... Um, yeah, uh, I was massively offline. You see Grosjean's getting a little bit twitchy, so not just us that's struggling here in these conditions, but um, nice, tidy last couple of corners, and we should be okay. A little bit of slide there, but um, puts us offline a little bit for the final corner, but we've got enough in hand just to um, come across the line and take sixth position in the Austrian Grand Prix. Drive. So congratulations to Lewis Hamilton, who came in first ahead of his teammate, uh, Valtteri Bottas. Sebastian Vettel is in third position. We came in sixth, um, three places down from our grid start, but um, one place ahead of Roman Grosjean and ahead of our um, rival, Nico Hülkenberg, who finished off the top ten with a single point. Looking at the driver's standings, Kimi Raikkonen still leads, but now only by one point from Lewis Hamilton, who has really closed the gap with Valtteri Bottas in third, Daniel Ricciardo fourth, and Sebastian Vettel fifth. Max Verstappen sixth. We move up to P7 with that result on 35 points. Felipe Massa eighth. Karloff Sainz ninth. And Sergio Perez rounds up the top 10. My rival, Nico Hulkenberg, is 14 points behind us in 11th position. And thanks to our double point scoring finish, we have moved up to fourth in the constructor standing. So, uh, yeah, we are definitely best of the uh, midfield right now, um, even ahead of Williams Racing. So, um, yeah, we're making great progress this season so far. So there we go, that is the Austrian Grand Prix and we got some new, more resource points to boot as well. Um, so yeah, moving forward as always. Um, looking at the rivalry, we actually pull ahead by one point on the rivalry against Nico Hülkenberg with that result. So um, yeah, that puts us in good stead and uh, another six points plus for the team's approval, which is always good. We're still not in the purple though. Um, we could really do with getting that um, first drive spot to increase our resource points and different bits and pieces. But we have got an increase on pit stop efficiency now. So, um, yeah, hopefully our pit stop should be that little bit more quicker. But next race, guys, we are going to head over to the UK in Britain for our home Grand Prix. It will be Silverstone. But um, thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.